Good evening students. Today we will be doing the bond line formula. There is a specific way to go about the bond line formula for carbon compounds. The steps are carbon and hydrogens bonded to them not to be shown which means your bond line formula will have no C in it neither would it have the hydrogens which are attached to those carbon atoms any of the carbon atoms. So neither will you write the carbons nor you will you write a hydrogens attached to it. Heteroatoms. Now by the word heteroatoms I mean something like sulfur, chlorine, fluorine, nitrogen. That is atoms other than carbon and hydrogen and the hydrogens which are bonded to them if any then they are to be shown. So your bond line formula will not have carbons and the hydrogens attached to them but if there is any heteroatom other than carbon and if that particular atom also has a hydrogen attached to it, then that hydrogen is to be shown. The heteroatom is also to be shown. Chain of carbons will always be written in a zigzag format. So when you write 10 carbons, so it would be something like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Each of these vertices refers to a carbon. You don't need to put it like that, but just to make it a little more clearer, you have 1 carbon, 2, 3, 4, 5 carbon, 6, 7, 8, 9 carbons and then 10 carbons. The bonds between the carbon atoms need to be written. But these bonds are to be mentioned. That is why the formula is bond line formula. To illustrate this, I will be taking 6 examples. The first example is hexane. A hexane has 6 carbon atoms in a row. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 carbons understood and the hydrogens attached to them is understood. We neither write the carbon atom, we nor write the hydrogens attached to it. So the structure is this and it ends here. 2 methyl pentene, 5 carbons with a double bond. The positioning of the double bond is not given which means it is at the first position. 1 carbon, 2 carbon, 3 carbon, 4 carbon and 5 carbon. 5 carbons done. Second, the first carbon has a double bond. That is why your ene is done. The second carbon has a methyl group. This is your second carbon and this becomes a methyl group. This is one carbon attached here. Shows its methyl. Hydrogens are not to be shown. Carbons are also not to be shown. <laughs> Third example has got 3,4-dibromohexanol. Hexanol means 6 carbons. All means an alcohol OH group. O becomes the heteroatom. Position of OH is not given, means it is at the first position. Third and the fourth position have a bromo and bromo needs to be mentioned because it is a heteroatom. 1 carbon, 2 carbon, 3 carbon, 4 carbon, 5 carbon, 6 carbon. 6 done, you have an OH attached to it. This is your OH. Attach I am taking this as the first carbon now. First carbon has an OH, the counting will begin from this side only. First carbon has an OH. Second carbon nothing. The third has a bromo. The fourth also has a bromo. You can write this bromo here. But this would unnecessarily commotion this side. Which is not applicable because it refers to a bond-bond repulsion. That is your bond pair, bond pair electrons will get repelled. So there is no harm in spacing it out. So you write a bromo like this. The third example. 2,2-dimethyl propane. Propane means 3 carbons and single bonds. 1 carbon, 2 carbon, 3 carbon. 3 carbons done. The second position has got two methyls. One methyl here, one methyl here. That's the structure. Across. Coming to butane null. Ul means an aldehyde. Aldehyde is C double bond O and an H. Bute means four carbons. One carbon, two carbon, three carbon, four carbon. Aldehyde is a terminal group. So this group would be done at the end. Just to give it a little more clearer picture. A butanol looks like... CH3, CH2, CH2, C double bond O and an H. 1 carbon, 2 carbon, 3 carbon, 4 carbon. The fourth carbon has a double bond O and the H is understood because you are not writing it down. This is how you represent a butanol. Coming to the last example, pentane 3 ohm. Ohm means a ketone. Pentane means 5 carbons. Third is the position. Let's check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The third position has a ketone. 
pressed hydrogens to be satisfied CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3. Now to draw this structure, 5 carbons in a row 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 carbons. The double bond O needs to be mentioned. This is how you do the bond line structures. None of these structures you can see has got carbons in it. This is not the bond line. This is the structure formula. No carbons. Heteroatoms mentioned. If at all there is a hydrogen, it is the one which is attached to the heteroatom, not otherwise. Heteroatom here, heteroatom here. So, no need to mention any carbons and hydrogens. And you need to only mention the bonds. With this, I end my class on bond line formula. I hope I have clarified some of your doubts. If you like the video, please like it. Thank you.